Unlatched containers dangerously placed on articulated vehicles have fallen over time, resulting in gloom, loss of lives and pain. With these incidents, the dreams and aspirations of many have been cut short. In this special report, Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, x-rays some of these inc incidents with a view to curbing uh, the menace. Now, the menace of uh, containers dropping on Nigerian roads has become a thing of major concern. People die daily, records that even journalists do not have. The question is, how can we end this menace of containers falling on Nigerian roads and killing innocent lives? The growing rate of crashes involving articulated vehicles on Nigerian roads is a source of concern to pundits and particularly stakeholders in the transportation industry who could give anything to see it reduced drastically. To understand this trend with a view to ensuring control, we speak to the Director General of Lake State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA, and Sector Commander of Federal Road Safety Corps. They need to ensure that um, their drivers are not on drugs. They need to ensure that their vehicles are well maintained. And again, while they are carrying out this container, they need to tighten it down on the vehicle. And they need to ensure that the proper turns that the artificial vehicle is supposed to carry is what is carrying. However, we appeal to other good users that when you whenever you are seeing these containers, articulated vehicles carrying containers going anywhere, you should give them gaps. It is the fault of the man that wants to make business through a tool, through an instrument that he has failed to put in proper position. Why do we have all these problems all over? You know you want to go into all late business. And we are not even saying, don't do that. FRS is saying, as long as you are still able to maintain minimum safety standard, which is as minimum as we mention it. Just how can this menace be completed, obliterated, knowing its negative impact on socio-economic activities, vis-a-vis -vis field deliveries, among others? Experts advise on the need to explore the rail and pipeline transportation modes as viable alternatives. These trucks that are carrying containers, some of them are traveling to the north, to the east, and all of that. Ideally, we should be using the rail system to move these things. I must acknowledge what the government has done so far. There have been some investment in the rail uh, transportation, and I think there is a decision now to, to construct the, the rail system right into the ports. We need to be able to deploy all those other ways of moving goods across the country. Rail is one of them for, 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 for fuel. We need to develop our pipelines. Commuters and pedestrians are not left out as some have fallen victims of these accidents. Some have been maimed, others met with their untimely death. So what I think about the causing the falling container is about the, the road that is not good. That would no good at all. See, see, let me let me pick up that container. That part last week, that last month, that cause they fall down for here. It is keep person. That on top bridge, no good at all now. Government should just help us uh, do good, do good, and make the help us crush all those last man. Files on these menace have been piling up over time. Most recently, a driver at Alakwada Ijora Bridge who could not run away like his lucky boss was killed in the process. The case of Chima Naipe and Chidima Ajoku who worked with the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria FAN comes to mind. Their family members could not hold their grief as they still wallow in agony. Chima's mother narrates her deal. Nothing can compensate me. Yes, uh, this is a human being that has been trained in the university. I mean, 
private university for that matter. Apart from that, you see that bond between mother and, and child, what can compensate it? So, I'm not even talking of that at all. What I am talking of is how they will stop this menace so that other people will not continue to fall victim. Nigeria, as a developing African country, has gotten to a point where it can emulate developed countries to exploring new trends of containers with inbuilt rails that latch them effortlessly yet properly to curb this painful menace, which has left grim memories on the faces of residents. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.